We're here for another episode of Egg Nerds. We're joined today by Peter Gradick, Magnition. Welcome today, Pete. Hey, Sean. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Pete, today we are going to talk about mobile apps and mobile sites that we can use in agriculture. So you and I have a, an extensive list of uh, some of our favorites. What's the first one on your list? Okay, well, uh, as you know, corn, soy, wheat grower in Ontario, so um, we haven't been in the tractor as much as we'd like to because of the weather, but uh, there's an app that I use with my Blackberry. It's called Drive Safely. And what it does is any incoming text or email is audibleized. In other words, it turns, it converts it from text into voice. And it kind of links with Bluetooth. And it took me a while to get onto it, but in Ontario now it's the law. We're supposed to have a Bluetooth device when we drive, uh, hands-free, I guess. So I've gotten used to using my, uh, you know, my earpiece. It links easily with my BlackBerry. And the cool thing about Drive Safely is, is that if you're using your Bluetooth device, you're driving along with your tractor, and all of a sudden in your ear automatically you hear new text, and then it's read to you. Uh, same with email, new email, and it's just read to you. You don't have to stop. You don't have to look at your device. You don't have to look at anything. It's all uh, any incoming messages go directly to your Bluetooth and it's it's in voice it's audibleized so, okay, so can you respond like can you reply to that email and uh, say reply you know say this and it'll type it out yeah I think that the app has that functionality but um, you have to have a certain carrier you have to have certain other uh, elements and I haven't gotten to that step yet to be honest with you but even the ability uh, to uh, even if you could hear the email and then even it allows you to probably place a phone call and respond if you needed to be. Well, um, yeah, that was my next point is that with the, and this, they've come a long way with this now, you know, with your, with your Bluetooth, you just press the button and say, call Sean Haney. And it's become much, much more proficient in sorting out who you're saying. And it makes that call automatically. So I can get messages come in. I can hear them. I press the button, call Sean Haney. I'm back to them and my hands have never left the steering wheel or whatever. So um, I think it's that's a great app. I really like it. Uh, there's a free version that gives you 25 words of the message maximum. Um, but I bought the pro version and well worth the money. It's a good app. How much is it? Uh, I think it was like 20 bucks or something like that. Okay. That's good. For, um, for the safety it provides, that's a good price. Safety and hands free. So. Yep. Cable. Okay, uh, well, I'm going to go with the with one of the things that uh, farmers are probably the most interested in, no matter where you are in the world, and that is weather. And uh, yeah, right. I, I love the Weather Channel app um, for a number of reasons. One of them is is that not only does it give me, uh, it gives me full options, and, it, and it's uh, even it's I guess it's like using the website except they package it into a very very good summarization with visual. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, what I can get is I can get the right now, I can get the next 36 hours, I can get a 10-day forecast if I want with descriptions on wind and probability of rain and all those kinds of things. And the really cool thing that it does, it also provides you in one screen all of that plus the ability to see the radar, which could be better, but it, it's, it's, it'll, it'll get better, and the ability to get a video forecast for the city that I've entered. So in oh. my case, my closest city is Lethbridge, Alberta. So I, I, when I'm viewing the Lethbridge page, I click on it, and then it'll play the video for the video forecast uh, for my area if I'm interested in that. So it, it it works very very well. Yeah, I use that app as well. It's killer, especially when you're uh, the wind one for spraying, right? The radar to see should I spray. Um, yeah, pretty valuable for farmers on the move for sure. Mm -hmm. what, what's what's your next one? Okay, the, there's a few that are. I guess what's happening is a lot of the companies that support agriculture, seed companies, crop protection companies, they're starting to get it finally that mobile is where it's at and that there are apps that they can build to sort of for product support or agronomy support. So uh, from an Ontario perspective, there's a couple uh, that I have on my device. One is DeKalb has what they call a plant population calculator and you can source that uh, on the BlackBerry. Uh, if you put that into your BlackBerry search at app world you'll find it it's really simple you put in the particular corn or soybean hybrid or variety uh your yield expectation soil type and it tells you your the preferred 
uh, seeding rate for that product. So, you know, it takes 30 seconds to go through it, and, and it's right on your device, so it's pretty handy. That one provides uh, recommendations based on your selections, What uh, based on even for the DeKalb hybrids you should plant for, for that. Yeah, product. it's specific to each hybrid. So um, they're finding that different hybrids are optimized, different seeding rates. So you just pump in, um, if you're growing 50-45, uh, you put that in your soil type, your yield expectation, and it'll tell you the range, and it'll also tell you the number of units you need for a prescribed number of acres. So, simple, handy little calculator tool. Um, it's a good one. That's uh, cool. There's another one from another seed company, Pioneer. Different tact, I guess. They have an app that they've built called From the Fields, and this one's a little different. It's kind of cool. Um, the way it works is. Pioneers agronomy staff are able to post directly from their blackberries in the field, or they can do it from their desktop too, but it's basically as they see issues, whether it be a pest issue or um, an agronomy issue, crusting or whatever, just as things arise, they can do a quick um, mini blog, I guess, with images, and then you're notified as an app user, as if you have the app on your device, you're notified that there's new content, you click on it and you can see uh, what the Pioneer Agronomy team is seeing and know what they know when they know it. So it's kind of cool. Is For the DeKalb plant population app and the, and the Pioneer app, are both those only BlackBerry or are they iPad and iPhone enabled as well? well I'm not sure about the DeKalb one. I know right now the Pioneer app is only BlackBerry. And it's currently available for Ontario and Quebec, but it's coming to Western Canada in the next week or so. So cool. watch for that, and um, I think we can provide the website for people to go to if they want to check it out. So, Kate, well, it's good. my next one is uh, one that's out of the, out of, actually out of the U.S., but incredibly agriculture-focused, and that's the DTN Progressive Farmer. Um, once again, it's free, uh, and, and really... It's, there's a lot on there. I think at first it's quite busy, but it provides everything from some of their, their blog posts on DTN to some news stories to uh, market prices of farm commodities to the weather. What it does is it finds your current location and it says, here's the weather for your location. It provides you a little map to confirm that, hey, is this where you are? Um, but re once again, very versatile. does a lot of different stuff. One may say, hey, it almost tries to do too much. Uh, but for for ag, it's like this is ag. There's it's it's totally focused in in the industry. So it's I I find it very valuable. Do you have that one? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's iPad specific, right? That is Can an you get, iPad app. Yeah. Yeah. Can you get it on the iPhone? Uh, I do believe they have an iPhone app, but I think it's it's complete. It's it's a app designed for the iPhone. I, okay. I, if I remember right. It's kind of like Bloomberg. Like Bloomberg is another app that I use to get the Canadian to get the currency rates and uh, yeah. different markets. Um, the app experience on the iPad is much different than what I get on my BlackBerry or okay. what my wife would get on her iPhone. So they've right. it, what what's starting to happen is uh, at least what it seems to be happening is that when we have the opportunity to program apps for the Playbook or a, you know a Droid platform or the iPad they're scaling up. They're like, okay, hey, we got more screen real estate. Let's do something with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I really like Bloomberg, by the way, as well. That's a great app in terms of, I mean, I can put in all my stocks that I, that I have and monitor them, but I really like it for the commodity news. Um, it's global. They also have Canada news. I, it's a great business app. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. And it, the, the Bloomberg one also provides uh, charts and stuff too, does it not or not? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, yeah, it's so, great. It's one I wouldn't be without. Yeah. Just on there now. So you click on on the iPad version that I have. You click on commodities, and it basically gives you everything from crude to gold, soybeans, cotton. It gives you everything basically. Yeah, you start to get a sense of how um, corn, soybeans, wheat, and the others are part of that bigger commodity play. You know, this big bull market in commodities, and so it's good. It's a good way to keep in touch with that. Well, I think it's really good from the standpoint of, you know, we were riding around the tractor and you kind of want to know what's happening today. The one yeah. page of commodity prices kind of give you a, a good representative sample of what's happening and is it a green day or a red day? Yeah, and it's global. Right, yeah. Okay, Pete, what else you got on your list? 
Okay, the next one I've got is, um, another, again, it's an Ontario um, specific app, but it's from the Grain Farmers of Ontario. Uh, they represent, they're a grower organization. We represent, they represent corn, soybeans, and wheat. And I think we've talked about it a bit before. They've built an app for both uh, BlackBerry and iPhone. It's called Sell Smart. And basically, it's cash bids for Ontario corn, soybean, and wheat growers. And that's something we've really been missing. We can get futures prices easily at a number of resources, but it's the cash price, you know, with the basis in there. And with basis movement lately, it's pretty important. So um, it works really well on the BlackBerry. You can put in alert prices. You can monitor specific elevators. They have a little ways to go yet in terms of getting those elevator by elevator bids. They kind of average them for like my, I think I get the London regional average price, but at least I have some idea of basis movement. I have some idea what my local bid's gonna be. And you can do it for new crop and old crop, uh, corn, soybeans, and wheat. So it's dynamite and it, it's, I give them credit. They're uh, leaders on this front and need something similar in the West. Cool. Okay, uh, another one that I had, is something that uh, whether I'm working in the office or I'm out in the truck, I like to uh, have the radio, something going on in the background. I'm, silence isn't good. So I love, there's a couple ones. I have a chorus radio app that provides you with access to all the different chorus radio stations across Canada. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, CBC Radio has a very good app uh, with also with uh, video capabilities where you basically can get any of the CBC radio stations uh, down to also city so you can listen to cbc calgary or cbc toronto or, or whatever the other thing it does it also has video so you can get uh, specialized uh segments from say the national from the nightly news things like that it's, it's quite versatile uh and, and runs very very uh very very smoothly the other one that i you know that i listen to the most is my Sirius radio app and this is actually an iphone app that also works on the ipad and they they also have it for the blackberry and so okay. what it basically allows you to do, if you have a Sirius Radio subscription, it allows you to stream your uh, Sirius Radio through your iPad, your BlackBerry, or, or your iPhone, uh, or your Droid, if you had a Droid. And I, I love that, the ability to kind of, you know, when I'm wanting to listen to music, what kind of music am I exactly in the mood for today? And, uh, or if there are any other sports programming, it, it works it, it works very, very well. That app does not uh, fail. And actually what I've done a couple times is when I'm, in the in the truck as I uh, I put uh, the iPad on my dash and yeah. uh, basically hook it up into the stereo of the truck and it streams through the truck. It works awesome. Right. On. Yeah. I mean, let's face it. We're in the. There's a lot of cab time, right? So there are some things beyond agriculture. There's entertainment apps. There are news apps, mainstream news, and it's really only limited by you know your ability to search and explore and experiment with this stuff. So it's cool. I've got one more I want to talk about, and it, it's sort of related to something you've already talked about, is is radar. Um, it's not an app, but Environment Canada has really good mobile-friendly radar uh, capability. So for me, the local radar is Exeter, and um, it comes up really quickly. And on a torch, you can do the expand screen, so it's really clear, and I can get a good handle on is there a front moving through, should I spray? Should I start working ground? Should I not? Um, I probably, you know, when we're busy, I probably look at that thing. Well, the way the weather's been, I'm looking at it almost hourly. So uh, it gives you a really good handle on what's coming in and how you should plan your day based on the weather. So does it's a it, good one. Does it link to some of, some of their forecast, like their text forecasts? Well, I've got, I've got my specific, like this is in my browser, right? It's like a website. So, and then I create an icon on my desktop so I just have to it's a one click access but if you want the forecast yeah it's all there at the site but I have it so that it just brings up the radar to be honest I like the uh, weather eye app better for forecasts and I just use this for the radar Where do you use weather eye environment Canada and I talked about weather channel which of those is your favorite Sean, you know what I do is I just keep going to as many weather resources till I get something encouraging, man. <laughs> <laughs> Especially right now, uh, whether you're yeah. in Ontario, Manitoba, um, yeah. obviously the forest fire situation in Alberta, everybody's praying for uh, something maybe a little bit different. Yes, for sure. 
Okay, Pete, uh, we'll talk to you next time on Ag Nerds. Okay. Good to talk with you, Sean. Bye. Mm-hmm.